the blood need to be in or out of your body? Marrow, that's not funny. Elm, in a way it is. John, enough chit chat, let's get this done. They all walk in the mine on guard, but they are in enemy territory as they don't know the extent of the infestation. Grim don't communicate with each other. John, there is still much to learn from Grim. Nay, what's to learn they're all soulless killing beasts? There's nothing to learn from those. John, just because it's what you often encounter doesn't mean it's always like that. Fiona, no. John, some Grim are territorial, some doesn't care, even seldom lives peacefully even near humans. Elm, where did you get that idea? John, from my travels, I've seen some Grim just finding their own business. You people just fire on sight as a first response. Indeed, it is a merit when it comes to some species of Grim. and walked forward. The team gets ready, but he waves it off as they stand out. And Ursa walked forward on all fours. Once it got near, it stood up and the teams were still on guard, but what happened next surprised them. The Ursa sat down and looked to John. John them to just migrate there. Elm, what the hell? Amin then checks his scroll and looks up any info on former SDC mines. Marrow, um there is a recently exhausted mine in the John nods and once again face the sitting and patient Ursa. Then the Ursa roars but not an aggressive one it's like it's speaking. It got back on its paws and walks back to the others and it took a while and then more grin came from the shadows and the team the Grim and their packs all walked to the exist from Bea Wolves to Ursa, and even some border The They continued to go deeper. Much deeper, and John felt odd like this was something he never encountered before. Fiona, hey, do you feel that? John, feel what? Fiona, it feels like you're losing the ability to feel. Marrow, yeah, it makes me feel even more cold. Um, I'm feeling more. More numb. John narrowed his eyes. John, apathy. Lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern. Then strange cackling echoes from the cave. What the team saw next horrified them. Suddenly they felt their will power. Um, and you ended it in just a few seconds? Hush, 
report this quick. John. All right, Mero, and may you go outside and make a call. Me, Fiona, and Elm will continue with the cleanup. They all nod and split up. Fiona. I can't believe those Grimm were Faunus or Hale. John. Makes you wonder if they're one and the same. If you ask me the old tale about the brothers, both brothers made humanity while the Dark Brother made the Grimm. By all accounts, all of us came from the same sex. Hell, those are just fairy tales. John, all stories, even those tales, often have a grain of truth. Then something burst from the floor and the death stalker while something slithered up. Funny man, John. Focus. They all took out their weapons as John conjured Mirage Edge. John, here we go. Elm happily drew out her launcher as Fiona readied her flesh out. When the trio set the tree and the The day ends with a successful mission, but the shadow looming from a distance can still be seen stalking our Dark Slayer.